Hello, in this video I will demonstrate how to run a simple linear regression analysis using the IBM SPSS software. In this data set I have two continuous variables. One variable is measuring student attendance and the other one is measuring student achievement. Uh, these are student scores on a specific assessment. So I already know that there is a positive relationship uh, between these variables. Um, so to demonstrate that, I can uh, calculate a correlation coefficient. I can go to analyze, correlate, uh, bivariate, and then I'm selecting my two quantitative variables from here, move them into the variables area. I'm checking Pearson because I'm working with continuous variables, and then click OK. So I can see that there is uh, quite a strong correlation between the two. Um, uh, there's a 0.743 correlation coefficient, um, and the, this coefficient is statistically significant. The value is smaller than 0 0.001. If I want to also investigate the shape of this relationship and confirm that is a linear relationship, I can quickly look um, uh, at a scatter plot. So I'm going to the graphs menu, go to chart builder, and then I'm selecting scatter plots from this area. On the left, I will use a simple scatter plot. I'm going to put school attendance on the x axis and academic achievement on the y axis because my ultimate goal is to. Um, run a regression analysis. Here it does matter which variable goes on the x-axis and which variable will be on the y-axis. On the y-axis we put um, the dependent variable which in our case would be academic achievement and the independent variable which is school attendance should go on the x-axis. And so I'm clicking OK and I can see that there is a positive a linear relationship between the two variables. Now, as I mentioned before, the objective for this video is to actually uh, run a regression analysis. If I want to see or to fit a regression line on this graph, I can double click on the scatter plot and then click on this button that says add fit line at total. I just need to click once and then if I can just close these windows and if I go back to my output window I see that my scatter plot has a regression line on it. I already see uh, the R square listed here in the regression equation but if I want of course to get more information about the linear regression analysis I have to run um, these analysis, so I go to the Analyze menu and then go on Regression, select Linear, and uh, as I mentioned before, our dependent variable is Academic Achievement. This is the variable that we're trying to predict, so I'm selecting this variable and move it into the dependent field, and School Attendance which is my predictor or my independent variable, can be moved into the independent variable area. Of course, with multiple regression, you can have multiple independent variables, but with simple regression, we only have one independent variable. And then I click OK. And these are the results from regression analysis. Uh, please notice in the first table that I get the R square value, which is 0.552. This means that approximately 55% or 55.2% to be exact of the variance in student achievement can be explained or predicted using school attendance. Overall, the ANOVA table shows me the predictive power of my uh, regression model. I see here that I have a statistically significant F statistic, which means that overall the regression model 
is statistically significant. So we can predict our dependent variable using our independent variable in a statistically significant uh, manner. And in the coefficients table, I am getting the uh, coefficients for the regression equation. In the first line here, where we see constant, we see the value of the intercept, which is 56.27. In the next row, where we see school attendance, we see the slope uh, or the coefficient uh, for um, our uh, independent variable for school attendance. So using these two values, we can actually construct the regression equation. So we can predict academic achievement. So academic achievement equals 56.27 plus 1.059 times school attendance. So we can use this equation to predict the value of academic achievement using school attendance. We also get p-values for the regression coefficients, and we, we can see that in this case they are both statistically significant. So um, if you look up again to our scatter plot with the regression line, we can also see the regression equation here and um, our r-square. Notice that we have an outlier here. This is a case of an individual who has high school attendance but um, still has a very low achievement. So if we um, decide that this case is not a representative for the whole group, for instance, let's say maybe this is a student with learning disability. So if we don't take into account this case for, to assess the overall um, pattern or the overall trend um, in the data, the regression equation uh, would, will change a little bit. So the regression results will be a little bit different. So if I go back to my data, for instance, and I um, conveniently place this outlier at the end of my data set, this is the last case here. Uh, see, it has very low achievement scores and high attendance. So if I just simply remove this uh, data set, this, this data um, point. So let's just uh, clear this uh, variable. And then I'm running my regression equation again. So I go to analyze and then I'll go to regression linear and I'm going to use the exact same settings and click OK. So now in my output, I have the results of the second regression analysis, which does not include the outlier. And I can see that my R square has increased. It's now 0.6, which means that 60% of the variance in uh, academic achievement can be explained based on school attendance now. And if I run my... Um, scatter plot again. So if I go to graphs and then chart builder and then uh, create my chart again, notice that the outlier is uh, missing here. And let's add the line again, the regression line. And if I go to my output window, I see here that uh, the regression equation is slightly changed and that the line, the regression line, shows an um, increased upward trend compared to the original, um, the original one. So this is, uh, in a nutshell, how to uh, conduct a linear, a simple linear regression analysis using the IBM SPSS software and how to add a regression line to the uh, scatter plot. Um, this um, demonstration also explain how to, explains how to interpret the results of uh, regression analysis.